Hi, this is Dr. Mitchell Hackerman with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in North Cape May, 650 Town Bank Road, Suite 203, 609-884-9800. Now, as you are probably aware by now, your physician is likely owned by a hospital or a big uh, corporate entity. And as such, they assume that you, that their patients all belong to them. In other words, you've become a commodity rather than a patient. And we want you to know that you have a right to choose where you go for your physical therapy. Anyone who comes and compares us to the rest always chooses us. We are the best equipped facility in the region, and we'd like to continue, continue it that way. But with what's happening in today's environment is making things much, much more difficult. See, my intention is to provide the best care possible to the patients. I don't have any corporate elites to have to answer to, so I do things the way I know it should be done, and it's all patient-centered, all patient-focused. I don't have to worry about time managing the therapists. Uh, I don't have to worry about if I want a piece of equipment, I'll get that piece of equipment as long as I have the funds to do so. Now, not only has the hospitals and big conglomerates bought out physicians and assumed that their patients come along with the territory. They also often ask for donations from the public, either through newspapers or letters. And it was interesting because I had a I had a, my child at a hospital, and I, they really did a great job. Actually, I really would highly recommend them for that for that. But then I get a letter asking me specifically for donations for the hospital. Now the question is, when you send in donations to a hospital. Do you think that makes it easier for them to do other things? Other things, say, for profit. Now, the outpatient private physical therapy uh, services in the Cape May region uh, have been well tended to over the years. There is no need for additional centers. But as you can imagine, big corporations know, know where the money could be for them. So if they have an opportunity to build their own facilities in the area, if they know a lot of people who can give them special uh, breaks on land property uh, and uh, building facilities, of course they're going to do it. So they have basically um, infiltrated the market, building facilities all over the place. And since they own the physicians, you may have noticed some private practices go out of business. It's actually quite miraculous that I'm still here. I'm still here because of my reputation and uh, I get most of my pay referrals from other patients. I still run into a problem when a patient is under the false impression that they have to do what their doctor tells them to do or go where the doctor tells them to go. And then they get really angry at their physician later on when they realize that they did not have to do that. They still could have come to me. Now, when the hospitals ask for these donations, um, of course you donate because you're altruistic, you wanna help other people. And they, so suppose it's for, say, a brain trauma unit. Of course you wanna help, of course that's great and everything. Now, why would they need to use whatever money from whatever source that they have to open up in areas that are already well taken care of? Do you think it makes it easier for them to do that when they get donations? So our business has done very well over the years because of quality care, but it's hard to combat the situation when the physicians are owned by the big entities, hospitals, and it gets worse over time. And everything that, our, that we earned, most of it, is always recycled back into the business in order to provide better care for the patients. Uh, we have a safety overhead uh, support system, that, a patented system that nobody else has. So if a patient's performing complex balance activities and they fall, they can't get hurt. Uh, we've got spinal decompression tables, uh, active therapeutic movements machine for back pain. We've got balance machines. We've got all kinds of things because the number one, my number one focus is to have the best for the community and my patients. And I would like that to continue. 
but because of changing times, it requires that we change along with it. So next time you feel altruistic or anybody that you know us know of talks about donating to a hospital, realize that they're actually they could be donating to a situation which makes it easier for private practices to be put out of business by that very entity they're donating to. So I ask you to to click on the link below for our GoFundMe page and donate to us. And that money will be used for additional equipment for the patients. Everything that we get will be for the patients, for the patient's benefit. I have many other pieces of equipment in mind that I want to get. I already have things that other places don't have, but I want to continue to offer the best for my patients. And under the current circumstances, because of how uh, much more challenging it is, now that we're re losing referral sources because physicians are being bought out, we need to take extra steps. So we would appreciate it if you would uh, join the fight to keep private practices alive, uh, because that's where quality care is. Competition is needed for quality care. And if they put us out of business, you're at the mercy of whatever they want, because they're the only, they'll be the only guys in town. So competition is required for improved quality as well as reduced overall costs. When you own everything, you can negotiate with the insurance companies and practically get anything that you want from them. You have leverage. That's what they can do by them having leverage over the insurance companies if they're the only ones in town. I would like to stick around. I would like our business to thrive and to be able to provide the best services possible in the area. But I'm realizing because of the changing environment, I have to reach out to the public and ask the public uh, if you're if you're of a contributing nature, rather than making it easier for one entity to go into other markets to put other people out of business, potentially put them out of business, donate to us and we will guarantee that money goes toward the benefit of the patients and the community. We really appreciate you watching this video. We appreciate your contributions. Please call us for a free consultation anytime. 609-884-9800, 609-884-9800. Uh, we could even throw in a free laser treatment if you need one for pain. Uh, we certainly need to evaluate you for that and see if you're an appropriate candidate. So it's, it's appreciated. And just give us a call if, if and when you're ready to, to see us. And you'll see what makes us different because those who compare us with the rest, they choose us. Have a great day and thank you for watching. 884-9800.